The sensitivity section is for configuring the sensitivity of mouse movements. You can set the mouse sensitivity for aim look mode as well as ADS or aimed out sight mode. Aim look mode settings configure how the mouse movements respond during when the character has a normal view in the game. Check the box next to invert vertical mouse movement to reverse the up down movements of the mouse so that pushing the mouse forward causes a downward movement and pulling the mouse back causes an upward movement. The aim look sensitivity bars set how quick or slow mouse movements respond. Use the X bar to set the sensitivity of right and left movements and use the Y bar to set the sensitivity of up and down movements. For both the X and Y bars, moving the slider to the right will increase the sensitivity level, making movements looser, and moving the slider to the left will decrease the sensitivity level, making the movements tighter. To the bottom of the sensitivity adjustment bars, you will see the in-game acceleration adjustment bar. This allows you to set the level of acceleration mouse movements make as they continue moving up, down, left, or right. A higher value causes movements to speed up as they continue in the same direction. When you connect a mouse to the Keymander, the in-game acceleration in most instances will be too high. You can't think of this adjustment bar as an acceleration limiter. So when you adjust to level 75, you're actually limiting the in-game acceleration to 75% the normal rate. Next, we can adjust the diagonal acceleration. This adjustment is useful when the game you're playing has a circular dead zone. A circular dead zone will slow your diagonal movements. You can mitigate this diagonal slowdown by setting the diagonal acceleration. Diagonal acceleration adjustment sets the shape of a circular movement made with the mouse, so you can change the value and test the setting within the game by making a circular movement.